I didn't know that God spoke to you. <laughs> Boy, that's a shame, isn't it? But it was the truth. I didn't know it. But he was dealing with me and, and, and trying to help me. And, and I, just didn't, I just didn't know it. But he was. And he did. And now I, I'm beginning to know him. Praise God. More and more. And we are so thankful for it. Amen. So if you're out there tonight, I know you are, then I know that God is speaking to you. And He'll speak to you by His Spirit. And He'll bless you. Glory to God. I know there'll be a lot of people that's in trouble and are sick and afflicted and some people going through a lot of things. But God will help you. I, I promise you that He will help you. He'll deliver you. And we just praise God for His goodness tonight. He's, a, he's a, alive and well. And He is speaking. And if we tonight, and if you, will hear His voice, yes. you'll just hear Him, just listen. You, you remember they, it, it came a big wind, and it came an earthquake, and it came this and that, and God wasn't in any of them. And then there come a small, still voice, and that was him. Or a still, small voice. One or the other, anyway. It was him. And he was speaking. So that's a time that God wasn't in the wind. That's a time that God wasn't in the earthquake. Now, there was another time that God was in an earthquake. But it done no damage. Except break the bonds that that uh, the chains that bound those prisoners broke every one of them. The prison was shaken. I don't know if he shook anything outside of that building, <laughs> but shook it. <laughs> Amen. And the only thing broke, seems like the way it is. That's the way it is when God's on the scene. The only thing that gets broken and tore up is the devil. <laughs> That's the only thing that gets it. <laughs> It's the devil. <laughs> aren't you glad? I said, aren't you glad? Yes, sir. It seems like every time he comes on the scene, he's doing something good. Praise God. Doing something good. Never nothing bad. Aren't you glad? You think about it. Praise God. He's a good God. He's an awesome God. I said, he's an awesome God. Yes, he's awesome. We just don't know him enough yet. Some of you, and I'm talking to you, you don't know him enough yet. He's an awesome God. Amen. I said, he's awesome. You know that God is not causing one bad thing to happen in spite of what some people say. Do you know that? Not one bad thing God's causing to happen. I'm glad he's a good God. I'm glad he's not a bad God and does bad things. I'm glad he's not a God that takes people's lives and destroys them. I'm glad of that. Aren't you? Yes. You might think otherwise, but it's not true. I'm glad that God's a blesser and not a curser. That he blesses us and he doesn't curse us. Aren't you glad? Some of you may believe otherwise, but it's not so. Amen. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. If Jesus was here in the flesh, in the flesh, and you went to see him, would he do anything bad to you? Or if you called him up and you said, Hey, Jesus. He said, What are you doing? He said, don't, never mind, I already know what you're doing, but go ahead. Now, if he's in like he is now, he's resurrected state. And he says, come on over. And you went over. Would he do you bad? If you and Jesus got in the car and took off somewhere, whatever, would, it, would he do you wrong? 
would he? He wouldn't, would he? He would do you right. He'd be good to you. He'd bless you. Now, just that, I'm just talking sort of in the natural terms. Now, he's far, far more than that. He's Lord. He is Lord of the church. Amen. And I'll tell you what. The Bible says he sits at the right hand of the Father. Seated. His works is finished. And now 